Um, this is quite uh, a surprise. Asband on Twitter, at Asband, A-S-B-A-N-D, just tweeted me to say that it looks like there's a 2.2 update ready for the AC100. you remember the AC100? The 800 gram Tegra 2 based Smartbook, and actually we can say Smartbook now because I think that Qualcomm Smartbook problem is sorted out. Um, now has, um, well let's say this was announced in October I believe, uh, maybe even September. Uh, that it was going to be six weeks. So now it's m uh, nearly March 2011. The 2.2 upgrade seems to be here. So I'm now going to install it. There's also a message there about Flash Player. And um, I'm going to come back with you, come back to you in a minute and tell you if it really is 2.2. About 30 seconds into the process, it's asking me to reboot. Looks promising. Okay, looks like a standard um, install process. We've seen this before in an upgrade update they did to 2.1. So what's 2.2 gonna bring? Uh, the important thing it's gonna bring is speed improvements. 2.2 is the first version of Android that has the RMV7 optimizations. Hopefully it fixes the standby issues as well. The uh, device always seems to come out of standby um, without, um, uh, and then never go back into standby again killing the advantage of you know always on uh, and long long day long sorry multi-day long standby it's also going to enable flash and some other apps as well um, which don't run on 2.1 so will be interesting i wonder if toshi blue uh, delivering anything else any other updates i think free office should be there but i wonder if there's any google apps let's let's see and there's the standard message. Your system is currently resetting or updating. Please keep your device connected to external power source, which we have. Okay, after about mm, 10 minutes, it's gone into booting recovery kernel image mode. Not quite sure what that is. This is the second reboot so far. I'm hoping this is the final reboot and that it's going to come up with Android. Okay, 30 seconds later and we're booting into Android. This looks like it's going to be successful into booting at least uh, the old version. Maybe the new version didn't work. Let's check the version when it boots. Okay, it's fully booted and I'm quite surprised that all my all my icons and everything were as they were when I left them. Now let's have a look about device. Still seems to be Android version 2.2. .2. How about that? Right. Now, apparently, it should allow me to install Flash now. So, I'm going to go to home. And... Okay, now we're in 2.2. .2. It's time to go to the service station and check for updates. Apparently, Flash will come down through the update channel now. So, oh, okay, we've got a lot. Flash player, RDP client. Excellent. I hope that's just a pure RDP client. Opera mobile, freeing documents to go update, screen capture, capture and a media player. This is great. Um, let's, let's get the Flash player installed to start with. So we're just installing the Flash Player now. Shouldn't take a few seconds, and then we'll go to the browser. That's done, and check it. So go to home, and we'll go to the um, default browser, which is, where are you? There you are. And we'll go to YouTube. and we'll see what we can get out of it so um, I'm in Germany it's obviously ah uh, come on give me a video give me a video that's no good um, let's go back again, and we'll try, this isn't, oh, in an HD 
format. I'm not sure if it's going to play back the HD format. Remember, YouTube videos were pretty crap on the AC100 before. Um, that is at least HQ format. I can see that because I'm hearing stereo audio. Um, looks like some sort of Polish video. Um, yeah, probably HQ format there. It's certainly working. What about in line? Let's go to the desktop version because this is um, obviously the mobile version here. We're going to go to desktop version. We're going to go to the Neo NeoCube video. I'm going to try and watch that in HQ. 360p is working. Um, ah, only 360p on that one. That's no good. Come on, we want some HQ videos. HQ videos, HQ videos, Justin Bieber. Oh my goodness. This is why everyone watches, watches Justin Bieber videos. This is an advert. Can't get to... Ah, this is an advert. Whoa! Oh! Someone shot Bieber. What a shame. Come on, give me... It's not letting me do... Um... That's the 360p version. Okay, come on, let's find something else. Um, video from me. I know. I know this is available on HQ. Ah, advertisements. Skip. Oh, it allows you to skip now. That's nice. So I can't um, select the quality because the. Bloody menu disappears. That's no good. So I can't select the HQ version. Anyway, at least Flash is working. I'm now going to go to my website. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Carry pad. Let's see if the. Um, Let's see if the flash ads are working. See how quickly it loads. I'm going to go down to the desktop version. And the speed on this should be about the same as a netbook. Um, I'm a couple of walls away from my Wi Fi because I'm down in the studio. But it's working. Good. There's a flash element up here. Yep, flash is working. Good stuff. I'm also noticing a few other little changes. This is the task manager here. It's just slightly changed. Um, let's documents to go for AC100. Uh, where do I start? The media player. Let's see if that changed at all. Download and install that one. Okay, now installing the media player. Should just take a few seconds. And we'll open that one, see if it looks any different. No, it doesn't. Um, no differences here, but there were some some issues with the media player before with it crashing. Um, UPnP still there. RSS feeds for podcasts are still there. So hopefully they just fix the uh, the issues with that one. Right, what else have we got? And we've got Opera Mobile, new version of Opera Mobile, which is good. Version 11.02. Right, I'm going to get to work on testing all these apps and uh, get your video back uh, sometime, probably later today. Okay, what I've quickly done is, is done a factory reset so you can see how the device looks uh, from install. There's a couple of things that you need to, uh, to note. Uh, if we go to applications here, um, Toshiba have now installed the Toshiba Marketplace. Um, so I haven't actually done a lot of investigating here, but you do get uh, 
let's have a look if I can search for some radio stations Oops. and yeah nice there's some uh, radio stations working here see if that works That's, yep good also there's uh, music available to purchase it's downloading populating that we've also got uh, applications top apps here I'm not sure there's going to be anything too exciting in here but we'll have a look at that at a later date um, okay go home and uh, Dun, 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 dun. Let's just accept the privacy policy statement. Yes, understood. Privacy policy. Okay, how do I turn that uh, audio off? I go to the um, running apps. And do I have to go to radio and turn that off? Hmm. Come on. Is the radio? It stopped. Good. Okay. So there's that. We've got updated versions of documents to go, which I need to investigate. Uh, Evernote is still in there. Fring is still in there. Camera and gallery app still uh, still there. There you go. You recognise that. Um, Toshiba Media Player looks the same. I've checked that out. The service station, or well, when you do a factory reset, the only updates you'll see are the uh, are the online manual. Um, everything else is updated. So, for example, Opera Mobile is updated, and the IDP client is updated. That's single click connect. Uh, we've got FB Reader. So there's nothing else extra in here apart from that uh, marketplace. Um, and what I want to quickly do is just test SunSpider JavaScript benchmark to see how that uh, has improved, how this upgrade has improved SunSpider. So I'll run that through now, give you a test and give you the result in a second. Okay, let's run through the SunSpider test. We are at 4124 on that test. Previous result on Android 2.1 was 4.8. So we've got about what twenty um what is that? About eight hundred milliseconds, seven hundred milliseconds improvement, which is what about fifteen percent. Which isn't bad at all. Okay, I'm just side loading quadrant uh APK off an SD card. I very quickly want to run the uh, quadrant standard test. And this, of course, is uh, a test that goes in portrait mode. So we just run the full benchmark and see what happens with that. That's running now. We should see a reasonable result here. Okay, we're just finishing off that quadrant test. And the result should flash up in a bit. Uh, previous uh, attempts at this test on 2.1 resulted in an error. So we might have to be very quick to see the benchmark. Let's have a look. Which is compared to the Nexus and 1. It is 2 .2. way up there at the top um, there. Nearly twice as fast. 2081. Just running the... Limpack benchmark there takes 2.36 seconds, 35.478 mega flops. This is Raging Thunder, just to check that it's still all working. That looks good to me. This is one that didn't work before, so it's working now. And interesting, I don't know how you're going to do this with the mouse controls. As you can see, first time I've run it, 
can't skip this bit. Okay, seems to be okay. We can use the. Yep, working. Well, that's about it for testing. We've got 2.2 on here now and Flash, which is going to make a big difference to the browsing experience here. No Google Market, but you've got the uh, Toshiba Marketplace, so I'll be looking into that to see how that, uh, see what sort of apps we've got offered in there. Uh, we'll be testing, of course, battery life and standby figures because those were the problematic ones from before. So um, I really hope they've fixed that problem. If they have, then this is a, an always on standby device that could be um, a little bit more useful than when it was on 2.1. This is Chippy with Carrie Pad with the Toshi Racy 100 Android 2.2. Thanks for watching.